Well, Ricky, this is all your fault. I just couldn't stand it anymore. I had to get a tape deck again. This is a TC-105. Pretty sure it is. And, let's see. Yeah, TC-105. Okay. And what I'll do is I'll take this off and we'll give you some ideas for troubleshooting. Okay, I've got this powered up. And I do have, as you can see, tape on it. <laughs> We're using the top head. Now, I suspect if you do that on yours, it'll probably get noisier. So let me touch one side. Now I'm touching it with my finger. And this other side is the ground. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug everything and I'm going to measure the ohms of that and we're going to trace it through this machine. I've got an ohmmeter hooked up to that head and as you can see this one reads almost well, 27 ohms, so that's what I'm going to be looking through for when I trace it through the circuit. Now, on some tape recorders, they go through contacts or relays. So I'm going to trace that wire through, and we'll take some more pictures, and find out where that ends up. And that's what you're going to need to do. And I think you have an open. So in other words, whatever your head reads in ohms, it should uh, open up to something uh, maybe infinity or maybe very high ohms uh, along the way somewhere. Like I said, hopefully it's not the head. Okay, I'm going to take this out of the box now. Okay, it's this wire here, so I'm going to pull it through. I took the plastic top off just to make sure it doesn't go through any contacts. Now, like I said, yours may go through contacts. But anyway, I'm going to pull it through the other side and see where that goes. Of course, when I was measuring with ohms, which I'm going to do again here, everything is unplugged, and of course there's no power on it. Now here's that head. Let me move the light over here. And it's hard to see, but the white lead appears to be ground, and the yellow lead is the signal lead. Okay. Okay, now the idea is to find it back here and also to verify that that is the lead. Oops, I don't want to get too close. Well, it's hard to see, and of course I pulled around on it a little bit. It looks like that's the lead. Okay, now I put the ohmmeter on that yellow lead, and if it's the right one, let me set down the camera, Okay, if it's the right one, we should have almost zero ohms. Okay, now dot three. So that is the wire. Okay, and you can see that the other lead here goes right there. So between here and here, 
we should have just a little bit over 27 ohms. Let me get the other lead here. And we'll go across here now. Okay. And we have now 27 one. It's just slightly higher. Okay. Now from there, we would see where that goes. And looks like it's going down there. Like I said, yours may go through switches, but that's the technique you use. You go from point to point, but also verifying each wire in other words, that's what I just did with that yellow wire when I got almost no ohms. That proved to me that that is the wire from the top head from the other side. Okay. I did find it. It does go down to the switch and it turns out to be this yellow wire right here. Of course, this tape recorder I can switch between the top part of the head or the bottom part of the head, and that's what that switch is for. And the, what I'm going to do now is find the other side of the switch, because I have it switched, uh, so it's using that head or the top of it. Now, I forgot to show that it is zero ohms if I lift that off so it goes to infinity put that back on goes back down to zero ohms and now I'll find the other side of that switch okay I did find it and not surprising on the switch it's the next one over in the back so you can't see it it's right there and to prove that we've got zero ohms again and then when I switch the switch let me move that light out of the way here we go we're reading ohms through some other part of the circuit I wouldn't expect to read zero necessarily. It's possible. But uh, remember we're hooked up to ground somewhere on that head. Anyway, this is the signal side. And switch that way, that means that it is going to the amp. And switch this way, it has switched the heads and the other heads, other part of the head, is now going to the amp. And that's what you've got to do, is step by step, trace that wire through to verify that it's not open. Okay, this is what we just did. We traced one of the leads, the yellow one. You'll be tracing both leads from the head to the amplifier and again don't forget to measure the head so you can from time to time measure across the two leads that's another check now yours does doesn't make any noise until you engage play so you'll have to uh, of course have the uh, tape recorder unplugged Hopefully it's not a relay, so you can engage it in play as you do the tracing. 